Welcome friends, let's take a look at constructing a picture that represents a 3D coordinate system. I'm going to show you how to make a kind of cutout that will be helpful to understanding things properly. So get yourself some grid paper kind of like this one. And then once you have that, mark some axes on it. I'm going to use red here for example. So I'm going to draw this axis right here. And then put X in that position for example. Then after that, draw the Y axis. Alright, I'll mark that as Y right here. Let's also do the Z axis. Now, where do you draw the Z axis here? You can just draw it this way, right here, for example. You see, just straight up. We'll call that the Z axis. Now, after that, let's add some numbers. I'm going to type here the following little hash marks. That's what we call those. Same thing along the Z axis. Same thing over here along the X axis. Put in some numbers. So I'm going to mark up values along the y axis. I'm going to say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then 6. Do that along the z axis. I'm going to call this 1, 2, 3. Do that along the x axis. Now, for that one, I'm going to do them this way 1, 2, 3, 4. But this is what I have thus far. And now comes the next step. We want to model things and understand them properly. So let me close this. And what I'm going to do is just cut away things so that I can have a real 3D coordinate system. So I'm going to trim this portion away. For example, right here. Like that. And I'm going to trim away this portion of the Z axis on that side also, essentially. And that goes away. So this is what I have thus far. And I've done it this way on purpose because now I can fold things and actually form a coordinate system. I'm going to trim away all axes basically. Take a look. I'm trimming this axis part away. Like that. I'm going to trim away the axis along this direction also. Like that. And repeat that for the stuff along the X axis as shown. And the next stage in the construction of our little model is basically to fold things. So I just fold things this way and make sure you have a very tight, sharp crease. Same thing over here, fold along this crease. And now when you fold it, right, you clearly have an actual 3D coordinate system. And I'm going to trim away this excess here also. I don't really need. There we are. So let's go through what we have built here so far. Well, one thing that stands out clearly, I think you will observe, is that this here, where the camera is pointing straight down, that there functions as the XY coordinate system, the usual one. So if I want to make mark a point in the XY coordinate plane down below here, notice this is right up against the table, so the Z value there is zero. We'll look at it from this perspective. You see it's just like the edge right here. There's no z-coordinate, right, in this plane right here where my finger is moving. There's no z-coordinate. So I'm going to mark this some point that I choose in here. I'm going to say, for example, this point right here. For the x, I count off along the x-axis. Look, 1, 2, 3. That's my x-coordinate. I'm going to put a 3 in this position. That's my x. For the y, I count off along the y-axis. 1, 2, 3, 4. So I put 4 for the y. And again, because I am within this plane, within the XY coordinate plane right here, the Z value is zero. So I'm going to put zero as the value of Z within that plane. So the point would be labeled 3, 4, 0, the way you see here. Let me bring it up to your view a little better, like that. Now, let's do this also in the other plane now. Take a look. So, for example, the other plane would be clearly the Y plane. And the Z, correct? The Y, Z plane in that position. So when I mark points here, I'm just going to choose a random point, say mark it over here. I don't want the uh, Z and Y coordinates to be the same, so I'll just choose, say, this point. Let's talk about this a little bit. The X coordinate always comes first. So when you are in a Z, Y plane, ask yourself, you're looking at it from this perspective right here. This is the Z, Y plane, okay, where my finger is moving. The value of the x-coordinate in this plane is nothing. It's zero, in other words. When I say nothing, I mean zero, okay? Look at it also from this perspective, if you can. It's kind of interesting. 
you see when I look at it from this perspective I'm looking down to the ZY coordinate plane right here this is the ZY coordinate plane and as you can see the x-axis vanishes it goes away it disappears its value is zero in other words you see I'm looking into the ZY coordinate plane so for that reason the x coordinate in this ZY plane is zero the y coordinate is whatever it is in this case it's three so count from here three this way and then count up along the z axis that's two so you put two so the label is zero three two for that point in the z y coordinate plane and lastly the last plane is this one right here i'm going to close this up take a look at this plane right here there's no point mark just yet you see that clearly is the x z coordinate plane so i'm going to mark a point in that location also let's take a look well, when I look here, for example, I'm just going to choose a point like this one. Let me make sure that I can mark everything clearly. All right, that's good. All right, here, for example. Well, the x coordinate comes first. So the x, you read off, that's a value of 4. So x has the value 4. For the y coordinate, think about this for a second. The y coordinate is 0 in this plane. Look at it from this perspective right here. Don't just believe what I say. That's not good. I never believe anything anybody says anymore unless I can prove it to myself. Take a look. If I look at it from this perspective, you see how the y-axis vanishes? It basically goes away. And you are just in the x-z coordinate plane. So the y coordinate there is 0. So for that reason here, I'm going to put here the following. 0. And then lastly, for the z coordinate, read that from here. Look at where my marker is. It's pointing to the 3 along the z-axis, you see it there? I'm going to point over now this way, you see? It's kind of tricky, I'm going to do it again from 3 along this line, you see? It's that 3 from the z-axis, so that value is 3. And that's my z-coordinate within that plane. So there are three coordinate planes, as you can see, at least in, in this construction. And depending on which one you're located in, one of the coordinates is equal to 0, as I've shown you. When you fold it together, it gives you a nice depiction of it. And then any other point that's not in one of the coordinate, for example, planes, you can mark off in a similar fashion. Take a look. Imagine you want to mark like the point that's floating here. Okay, that's the tip of the marker. Imagine that represents a point, the way you see here. So then you would have to get the x coordinate, the y coordinate, and the z coordinate of the point. Or if it were over here, for example, you see, in this position, say right here. Then you would have to get the z coordinate, the y coordinate, and the x coordinate of the point. All right, it's a point floating out in three dimensional space. You, get a, you need three coordinates to represent it x, y, and z. All right, that's it for this one. I wanted to show you this. Keep in mind that once you have this little thing constructed, you could trim away the grids like that. And then you could basically be left with an XYZ coordinate system that has only the axes and then you can position them in different ways and you can kind of train yourself how to draw them correctly you know on paper based on what you actually see by holding the model up so that's something that I did improved my ability to kind of be able to reason in three dimensions in a way that actually is reliable and doesn't feel like I'm just guessing things that don't actually correspond to reality okay and that's it for this one thanks so much I'll see you in another video Please leave a like.